This is the third edition of the Chicago Architecture Biennial and like previous biennials it's a wonderful occasion to enjoy the best of new thinking in architecture and urbanism from around the world. The work of architecture is to organize space so whether or not you're making a building in a neighborhood or you're making your garden outside of your house, you have to be really, really attentive to the broader context so that designs aren't just narrated or handed down to communities and neighborhoods, but that there is a community conversation and that it's something that is collaboratively produced. I was invited to be part of the Chicago Architecture Biennial. The curators were particularly interested in the work that I've been doing in Little Village, which is located on Chicago's west side, also my community neighborhood, where I've been working inside and outside of Cook County Jail. The piece in the biennial specifically is looking at the wall itself as a very physical site that acts as a divider between a community of mostly Mexican immigrants as well as detainees and jail staff. So what you see is the jail wall printed the same scale as the real wall that you might see on 26th Street. A lot of the work that I've been involved in deals with creating counter narratives on mass incarceration and thinking about how it impacts mostly communities of color and how it impacts the poor. It is a very complex system. It's one that impacts all of our lives, whether we choose to see it or not. And I hope that the installation allows us to really consider the ways that we're implicated in that system. There is a wonderful, and I think, important project by Mass Design Group, which are a non-for-profit architectural firm, and they have produced a pilot project for a memorial to the victims of gun violence. One of the things that we wanted to figure out how to contribute is how do you give space to those many victims, those names which have been shrunk and erased down to spreadsheets so we can see their dignity as individual lives. This exhibition is made up of four houses and each house has around 700 brick spaces. 700 is the amount of people on average that are killed per week in America from gun related deaths. And so what you see here is actually one month in America. And to some degree our project is itself an infrastructure of stories. It only exists and is only complete if we are able to bring as many stories, as many narratives, as many objects as possible from people affected by the gun violence epidemic in America. And one of the things we wanted to do here was to amplify the public nature of the cultural center. And so we invited a collective from Europe called Construct Lab to create a space for gathering. Here we will host a number of public programs and conversations and workshops, but most importantly, inviting members of the public to use the space as they will. A wonderful project to see is the project by Theasta Gates, who is a Chicago-based artist slash urbanist. And he is doing a project that reflects on his land ownership and property ownership in Chicago. It's a project that thinks about how one can think about the potential of owning one's building or owning land and how that might connect to different forms of community rehabilitation. So it's also an opportunity for Theasta, I think, to make transparent the processes behind some of his more iconic acquisitions of buildings and land. I think an important thing to think about is that the biennial is free, it's open to the public. I want people to feel that they are free to come in and explore the exhibitions, have a significant experience, and that can be as small as seeing a project that connects to a situation or circumstance that has a personal resonance to you, or it could be as big as coming away from this and saying, hey, I'm going to go be an architect, I'm going to go be an urbanist, and I'm going to go change the world.